Well, good morning. Glad you joined us here in the middle of the week. Hmm. It's a little hot. Glad you joined us here in the middle of the week on Wednesday, September the 22nd. Uh, as we look through uh, the last part of Joshua, uh, we've, we've already seen how uh, between chapter 14 or 13, 14 and uh, 23 and 24, it was a description of uh, so many different things, but primarily the division of the land, the inheritance, the bounds and the meats and the property lines of, of what uh, each tribe was given. Also a discussion of the cities of refuge, that there were cities set aside that uh, people who were accused of crimes could go to and have a chance to, uh, to uh, uh, be saved from the consequences of their, of their crimes. However, we understand that uh, our choices have consequences and we don't have a city of refuge that we can run to where our choices uh, have no effect on us or others. We always will have an effect of choices. And uh, so Joshua has been leading up to something here in, in chapter 24. And uh, he's basically renewing the covenant that uh, God had made with Abraham. And he's renewing the covenant here uh, at Shechem. And uh, he's, he's called all the tribes together and he's reminded them uh, of uh, what God has done for them. Now, now remember, when we make a choice, we need to review before we make that choice what God has done for us. And then secondly, when we review what God has done for us, we need to remember that it was not done in our strength. And that's where I want to continue today talking about the fact that it was not in our own strength that we've done anything good for God, but it's rather our surrender, our total abandonment to his will, to his way, and to trust him for everything that we have and everything that we hope to be. And uh, what, what Joshua is reminding the people of, and he says, this is coming from the Lord. And, and not from me, that he said, when I did all of these things, he said, I did them. That's what we talked about yesterday. I did them. You didn't do them. And he said, when you crossed the Jordan and came up against Jericho, remember, you didn't do that. You didn't bring that wall down. You didn't win over them. He said, they fought against you as did all of the ites. And he said, I sent the the hornet ahead of you, which drove them out before you. And, and he said, you, and this is so important. He said, you did not do it with your own sword and bow. So I gave you a land on which you didn't toil, cities you didn't build, and you live in them and eat from vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant. Now he's reminding them that God is your strength. God has done this. And folks here in the middle of the week, and, and I know I'm dwelling on this, but we've got to understand whether it's what happens in America or what happens in our own household or what happens in our church or our city, we've got to depend on God to do it and not to do it in our own strength and in our own way. And to do that, we have to make a choice. Now, you remember I've said all week, we have to make a choice daily. We have to make some big choices periodically. But every choice we make will in some way determine who we are in Christ and how we're depending on him in Christ. And so what he says here in Joshua uh, chapter 24, and, and let me just read again, backing up just a minute, but to 10. He said uh, that, that I would not listen to Balaam, so he blessed you again and again, and I delivered you out of his hand. That's a spiritual battle with Balaam, son of Beor, who put a curse on them. 
That was a spiritual battle, and, and God said, I won that spiritual battle. Then he crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho, and that was a physical battle. And he said, remember, I brought you through the physical battle. So whether it's spiritual or whether it's physical, whether it's personal or whether it affects the whole nation, he said, I will handle it. I will do it. And you don't have to depend on yourself. Now, we're going to be kind of sharp this morning with the, with the, uh, with the uh, devotional. And it's, it's not because I don't have anything to say. It is simply that there's only one or two ways you can say this. And I want you to get it. Make your choices based on who God is and what God can do and not on what you can do. Because remember, he said, you didn't do it. I did it. Now, we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to jump off right here into the whole thing that Joshua has been setting up with all of the nation of Israel. And he's about to give the word that they're going to have to make a choice with. So come back tomorrow and we'll finish this out this week, Thursday and Friday. God bless you. Have a good day today.